Hi, everyone. I'm Shelley Dressel, and I channel the universal light beings amongst many different energies. But tonight, I wanted to have a discussion. We just, on Wednesday night, I, I just did a channel with the ULBs, um, but we've been hearing a lot about what's happening in Peru in the Amazon basin, as they call it, of Peru. Um, was there, there, there was an attack on a, on a young 15-year-old girl and it has brought up a, a lot of discussion. Um, fabulous interview, Timothy Alberino uh, was interviewed by Michael Sala. And then I saw him interviewed by a second person. And, you know, this guy's just very articulate and he lived in the area for 10 years. So he's got a lot of knowledge. And um, as I was listening to the interview, it just brought up a lot of stuff. And I thought, hmm, I'm curious. And so I wanted to talk to El Bayan about it. So for those of you that don't know me or new to me, back in 2020, I did a lot of energy work with removing um, the, the bad ETs. Uh, Pendar is the name of the one that was like the top of the top of the top for the, for the people on earth. And what I remembered as I was listening to this um, interview today was that Pendar was in the Andes. And they have talked about, the, at least that's where I found him. And I did this with a group of, of very high spiritual be beings from off world, not the ULBs. It was different energies. And anyway, long story, not going to go into it. But the reason that this all kind of became very curious to me or that I wanted to know more about it was that number one, he was in the Andes. Number two, they talked about in this interview, and then I've since heard in a few other different places about how Peru and along the Amazon and in the, the anti Andes mountain, uh, I'm sorry, the Andes. And I remember the Aztec, you know, they, they would have the sacrifice to the gods. They would sacrifice children. So all of these different things in this area just kept, kept getting me prompted. And I thought when we did the the work back in 2020 that you know things were pretty much cleared out and so i am wondering what was going on here i would like for el Bayon to kind of tap into that and give me some information i have kind of a list of things that i wanted to ask him about you know was this a psyop was it configured were they truly ets um you and I both know that there are many, many ETs that are benevolent, and then there are those that were part of the negative ETs. And I believe, and of, go, of course, you know, all you have to do is listen. There's a lot of people that believe that there's still a lot of the negative ETs on the on the on the earth, and um, and my belief has been that the vast majority are gone. Um, so it, this made me feel like, well, is this just a little pocket, or, or what was going on here? So that was you know, one of the things I really wanted to know about. And, um, you know, they, they actually mentioned in there the tall grays. And we know that disclosure is coming. So is this all coming up as a way of creating fear? And is it bringing up negativity? So was it, was it construed? Now, when I listen to Timothy talk about it and the videos that he's watched, it is incredibly genuine for these people. So something did happen. Um, and my sense at the time, and as I was listening to it, was that, yes, these were ETs that that had come in and done this. And um, so they, they talked also about the Pelicatus and uh, that that's something that has, you know, legend and has been around for many, many, many years down there and is someone that mutilates people. So I just feel like this is something that I'm really curious about. And I thought if I'm curious about it, maybe you are too. Um, you know, please feel free to, to listen to this video. Um, give me your opinion, uh, because that's how we all learn from one another is sharing our opinion and understanding what is going on and why is it going on and, and, and what is happening here. So I am going to turn it over to El Bayan. Greetings. It is I, El Bayan, and I, I thank you, Shelley, for this opportunity to be able to speak about these instances. Uh, she's got her little list here that she wants me to be sure to refer to so that I don't miss anything. <laughs> but um, I would like to speak with you about this because it is, of course, very, very serious um, 
information and things that are going on. Uh, first of all, I began to tap into this this afternoon when Shelly was listening to the interview, and I agree with her that Timothy Elberino and uh, Dr. Michael Sala, they both are, you know, coming at it from a place of objectivity and being as honest and as clear as they can be. And that everything that I'm finding out as I look into the situation resonates with me as far as what they said. And then, of course, if you listen to the interview, they were both being very objective. It could be this. It could be that. It could be this. It could be that. And all of that is absolutely true. So as I tapped into this scenario, one of the things that I wanted to say to you is that this part of the world has been a place. There are some really old vortices that go all the way into the center of the earth. And when you have something like that, there are ways that the energies, how do I say this? We spoke during the last Universal Being uh, channel about the Crystal City that's kind of like the core of the of the planet, the center of the planet, and the beings that live there and inhabit it and protect it from everything else. So there are multiple places around the earth where people try to get in. They try to get in to get to those cities. They try to get in and to corrupt things. When the nefarious ones that have now been removed, and I'm still feel as if they have been removed. But I have also said there are multiple minions that have been left behind that are still in the process of being cleaned up. And with what happened in Maui, that was a massive amount that showed up there. And so those are all being cleaned out. Um, so what I think is going on here in Peru is that it was another group of the negative ETs that got left behind that were still trying to recreate a place where they were able to live upon the earth or even just with below the surface of the earth. And it is not working out. There is no longer the amount of um, food source you could say to them. And as much, I, you know, I'm the food source tends to be humanity. Um, there are other food sources that they use, but now that so much of the human trafficking has been um, removed I am not saying it is complete, and I know that it will be a while before it is complete, but it is very, very much diminished from what it used to be. And so these peoples, they're not even people, these species um, are now looking for the food source. It is no longer coming to them, and they are having to go out. Now, when they spoke of the um, Pelicota, those are the ones that were... 100% reptilian. There were no other species. They were the ones that were a part of um, the reptilians that were living inside of the earth and that were controlling and manipulating the um, cabal, if you want to call them that. So with what happened recently, because there was a recent attack, there is, I mean, one, maybe two. It is not like there's a whole pack of them that are living inside the earth now. They're down to just the very last of these individuals. And um, the ones that were there and the people that they talk about, this this way that they have of, of um, taking apart the human and it, I, it, it's just so nasty. And I know Shelly has a hard time like listening to it. She, she has trouble detaching. But anyway, um, it is very brutal. It is very brutal what they've done, and this is what they've done for hundreds of years. But it is no longer a large group of them that are living beneath the surface. There are only one or two that are doing their best to try to, it's almost like they got left behind when the ships left that took all the rest of them out from here. Um, most of them that were removed from here went to a far, far galaxy. I mean, plant, I mean, what do you call it? Universe. Not even a galaxy, not even a solar system, but a universe that was very far away that is now going through um, control and manipulation and things that you've been going through for all these years as, as this planet is ascending into that which is of peacefulness and love and, you know, the, just the, the higher vibrational frequency. So all of that being said, yes, it was aliens. Yes, they were the ones that were living in the earth and they're in, there is a portal that they have tried repeatedly for many, many years. There are, is one big one that is up in the Andes Mountains, and, um, and they're the ones that have tried repeatedly to be able to get into the center of the earth, and they have never been able to get into the center of the earth. 
So once Pendar and the rest of that group, it was the seven highest minions of his or or his council, if you could say that, they were all removed all at the same time. And that was back in 2020. And once that happened, then everyone else that was left on Earth was left without their highest level of command, you could say. And there were multiple ones that tried to scramble and take over, but very quickly they were also apprehended and very quickly the majority of those were taken off the planet. So that by about October of 2020, the vast majority, I would say 98%, if not 99% were removed and gone. So what we're seeing here is the last, it's not even 1%, it's less than 1%, less maybe half of a percent. Um, are the ones that are just the ones left kind of behind and they're they they're they're just trying to to maintain the lifestyle that they have always had and um they they will be taken out they will not survive so now i want to speak about um some of these specific things so the the reptilians are the ones that were associated with the pelicotes when we speak about this tribe where the young girl was injured and when you listen to Timothy as he's talking about things, he speaks about how um, the men in the tribe would go into the forest at night and what they were seeing were seven feet tall. They would levitate, they would disappear. And um, in some of their different hypotheses, what they were trying to decide was, were these tall grays? Were they mantis? Were they another type of alien? Or was it CGI that was put on by the military? And it was done as a psyop to deliberately um, cause people to be in fear of aliens that are coming in. And was the purpose behind this to make people afraid of aliens. So before I, I look at that scenario, one of the things that I do want to talk with you about is the fact that there have been positive and negative ETs that have been in this part of the universe and in this part of your galaxy. Just as you removed them from the earth plane itself, they have also been removed from your universe because you could not remove them from one without removing them from everything. This was not in 2021. It was more so um, 2022 or the end of 2021 where they're the center of that. What did they call it? Um, the, the hub. There's a different word for it that had the consciousness connected to all these different negative CTs that were part of the Orion group. And they all were connected into this one. And that was removed like the queen bee. They sometimes talk about it. And that was removed and taken captive. And once that was removed, it deactivated the vast majority of the negative ETs that were out within the universe. So yes, there are some. But what that did was it rescued Mars, it rescued Venus, it rescued the Earth, it rescued um, many of these planets that were slave planets, uh, it rescued so many different things, and it was almost like instantaneous response, and the reason that it was so fast is that no time space reality it is not linear as it is on your earth plane and so things were able to happen once you did this you had an automatic response that went through many of these other um experiences and so that's why they were all removed in such a very quick moment in time okay so i wanted you to be aware of that does that mean that a hundred percent of them are gone from the universe no, it does not. But it does mean that the vast majority and all their organizations that they had going on for hundreds and thousands of years, that is removed. That um, network, you could say, has been removed. Um, but there are still the rogue um, ones that are out there, just as there are still the few that are inside or on the planet um, where you're located. So I felt it was important to explain that level of things. As you can see, this is not simple. This is something that is very complicated. And um, and as for the disclosure of the ETs, you remember how we spoke, I mean, maybe one or two times ago about the way in which um, it would be very peaceful. It would show the various species. It would be like it would introduce you to these various species. And this is the history with them. Um, and so it was all very co-creative. Um, so now let me talk specifically about this tribe. Oh, Shelly didn't write down the name of the tribe, um, but but we're I'm tapping into it because I'm tapping into this young girl and the tall grays, and that was what they intended. 
So let me be quiet. Let me go specifically to that space and let me tell you what I find. First and foremost, it is now filled with light. It is filled with light because so many people have placed a light upon it. The, the beings that were kidnapping the girl and wanted to get more were mantis. And these were working as minions to the other ETs that were the pelicates, you know, the reptilians that were, um, that were, that were doing the other problems. Uh, these mantis that they would see in the trees, they would levitate. They were very big and um, they are the mantis a part of the tall grays? No, they're not. These are two separate species and they don't even look very much alike. However, in the dark with the flashlight, you know, who's to say what it is that they are seeing. Um, but as I'm tapping into it, what I am seeing is that yes, tall grays have been involved in this in the past, but in this instance, it was mantis. And, um, and because we have that sense, we have that sense of the arms and we have that sense of, yeah. So anyway, that is what we think were go was going on. And it could not be taken out by humanity. It could not be taken out by those that were there. However, when it they began talking about this, there were those of us from the universe that came in and were able to isolate them and remove them from that area. Now, there is going to be a cleaning out that will take place of the entire um, Amazon Basin and going throughout Peru. Peru, as we said, has been just a melting pot for all of these nefarious things for a very, very, very long time. So it needs um, cleansing. It needs removal. It needs, there's, there's a lot that is going to be happening here in the future. One of the reasons that they they chose this space is because of its location and all the, the natural minerals, the natural elements that were there. And of course, they always go on the ley lines and, and pull from the energy of the earth. So this is one of the reasons why this area in particular has been targeted. But um, the, all of their discussion, they brought in a large group of people. I believe he said 100 um, military people from various forces of the military to look at this and to evaluate this, not this specific incident, but to come into this basin in Peru, the Amazon basin, and see what could be done to clear this out and see what could be done to try to, um, what's the word I want to use? Not, not create a change, but but to get rid of these negative ETs and make sure that that region is now safe. So the, the military group that came in as consultants, you could say, were there for a very different reasons, not because of this girl. However, they did get her involved. Um, they are using, they are making it a cover up. They are saying th there, there definitely are people in there that are minors that um, do want to, you know, decimate the land and they do, and they do from time to time, take the various um, indigenous people that are in that area. So, th and they do so as a means of scaring them. So with what the media is now talking about with what they're tapping into, um, it is something that can resonate because it is something that is real and the cartels that are in the area. So the military is there to take out the cartels, to take out the um, the miners and the other nefarious beings and, and and try to bring more peace and safety and balance into this part of the country. So they were not there because of what's going on here. What's going on here is something separate. And as they are taking it out, um, as I said, there were those of us that came from the universe that came in, that surrounded them, that captured them, and we removed them from there. So that area is now safe. Um, there is a massive light that is being shown upon it. That light will remain lit. And as you know, the more that you send light and love into any situation, it gets rid of the dark. It gets rid of the negativity. It transforms everything. So if you want to help in this situation, this is how I ask you to help. If you can continue to shine the light on any place around the world, because there are changes taking place all over the world. And so shine the light of your love, your, your energy, the love, the balance, anything it is that you can send, that is what is going to continue to raise the vibration of the earth. 
Um, there was something else that they wanted to know. Okay, I think I think that's actually all of, of Shelly's questions. So I hope that this has helped you. I hope that this is prompting you to, to think outside the box. I hope that uh, you are able to just continue in your own personal journey, understanding that, that every single person individual creates the whole and the whole of the humanity that is upon the earth is moving through the ascension that is raising the vibration. This is also highlighted those that were the negative that were out within the universe that had been hidden, you know, between what happened in Maui and what happened here. And there have been a couple of other instances. And so it is helping. They cannot hide from us. So things are showing up out in the universe. They're showing up on the planet. And anytime it shows up, they get encircled and they get removed and they're taken totally out of this universe. So be at peace, share the love and know that you are not alone. Aunt Saluia.